Well, hello everybody out there in Atlanta. It's Chris from HLegacy.com with another exciting episode of My Talking Head. Doing something a little bit different today. I've been doing these uh, updates on the website. I call them Around the Verse, where I just kind of walk around and take pictures of everything that's going on around the Universal Studios. Well, today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a video version of that. We are going to head down. I'm in my car. Yeah, that's a little bit of a hint. We're going to head down to Universal Orlando, and we're going to check out Fast and the Furious Supercharge. It soft opened on Saturday. I was... At work on Saturday, so I could not uh, get down there, but I am off today, uh, so I'm on the way down there. I'm going to check it out. I know it's gotten some uh, some harsh reviews, but uh, this is this is this is my view, so we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will see you at Universal. All right, kids, remember where we parked? Oh, three thirteen. Lots of people are kind of gathered over there. It's actually kind of nice to see this thing finally reopened. The space back there. Makes everything work finished and new and complete. Glad they kept the fountain. Hope YouTube don't uh, flag this because music is playing in the background. Kind of a windy day out here, guys. Nice day. <clears throat> Everyone's kind of gathered up here. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, go to the bathroom, and then get on. Let's we'll see how it goes. Well, that ended quicker than I thought it would. The ride is currently down for technical difficulties. Of course, they have no idea how long it's gonna be. Uh, so I guess we wait. This might be a good idea to take a detour to Finnegan's. Uh, maybe get a brew and wait a while. Uh, this is probably going to happen throughout the day. Uh, I'll be back over in a little bit to see if it's uh, if it's up and running. If not, if it's not up and running today, then I will come back tomorrow and see if I can catch it then. It is kind of windy out here, guys. I hope you can hear me. Everybody is kind of gathered up at the front here waiting for it to open. And, of course, the TMs are trying to turn people away because it is down for uh, technical difficulties. But, of course, tourists will be tourists. Uh, you know, it says it right on the sign, down for technical difficulties, but people will still go up and ask, uh, and be turned away, and maybe people are actually coming out of the line now. Let's see, I'll turn you guys around, so you can see if I can. Can I do that? Can I flip? I don't think I can flip. No, it's alright. I won't flip, uh, for now, but you can, uh, kind of see. I don't want to go too close, because I don't want to draw too much attention, but everyone's kind of, uh, piling out a little bit behind me now. It is what it is. But anyway, I'll check back in a little bit, guys. All right, well, windy, of course, but before I head over to Finnegan's and uh, wait for Fast and Furious to be open, see some of the uh, construction behind me uh, across the way at Central Park that is rumored, if you will, to be the new, um, a new viewing uh, spot for the nighttime show. And of course, behind me you have uh, the... Uh, uh, the new platforms and stuff behind me. So, anyway, fast and curious now with technical difficulties. Time for me to go get some beer. <laughs> Alright everybody, we have an update. Not really, I'm just kind of waiting here. Uh, hoping that it does open soon. But you get a pretty good view of the boat behind me for the uh, water show thing going on back there. Uh, or whatever, whatever nighttime show that they wish to play. And it's not a good beard day or hair day for people out there guys. It is windy. Uh, very, very windy. Uh, but we are waiting. At least I'm waiting. Uh, I got my beer. Right here, a little brew. Yeah, where is it? Got it? Yeah, right there. Uh -huh. Waiting. Just waiting. Everybody is uh, kind of gathered out in front of the building. Uh, it is in technical rehearsal, so sometimes you don't know if it's, a, uh, if it's a training breakdown, if it's an actual mechanical breakdown. There's so many different things that can cause a new ride to break down. You just have no idea. Uh, 
uh, you know, sometimes I like to just make the ride break down and see what the team members, see how they react to everything. So, uh, but it is what it is, so I'm just waiting and waiting. I'll give you guys another update. By the way, one thing I wanted to make mention is that with this ride open now, or in technical rehearsal, the San Francisco area is fucking packed. Uh, the little the smoking area that's next to Bruce, uh, Shea Alcatraz, there's a lot of people just kind of sitting around, hanging around over there. And it's kind of awkward and weird. Uh, you know, I'm just not used to that many people being back there anymore. Uh, but it is what it is. So, anyway, I'll check back with you guys in a couple of minutes. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Well, okay guys, so here it is. It's not the best ride in the world. Uh, it's got some uh, some major issues. Uh, I, I, really, I, I wouldn't even call them issues. I'd call them like questionable decisions by the Universal Creative Team. Uh, but you know what? At the end of the day, I had fun with it. It was a it was a fun, uh, enjoyable experience. It wasn't uh, something that was like completely like mind-numbingly bad. Uh, it, it does have one or two problems that I did not enjoy. Uh, but overall, I had a really good time. It was a fun experience. Um, it is the same ride, Mechanics as Kong, obviously. I don't know why so many people are uh, confused about that. Uh, that's how it's, that, at least for me, that's how I always uh, expected it to be, just like Kong. Um, it does have one or two problems, but like I said, I had fun with it. I think people are going to eat it up. Uh, I think families going to eat it up. I like the, uh, the fact that Universal is playing up the fact that you know, the whole family, you know, Dom likes his family, like, you know, I, I like the fact that they're playing that out because this does have a very family-friendly appeal uh, to the ride. There's Dom's car there, his little maybe a Charger, Challenger, whatever it is. Um, you hear the cars in the background. Uh, the queue is really cool. There's a lot of stuff in the queue. I do like the two pre-shows. I think the two pre-shows are really awesome. There's a lot of stuff in here that really kind of reminded me of Disaster and Earthquake. Um, uh, down to the buses, the buses they have the little screens on the top, like that stuff is cool. I don't want to get too into detail uh, on the ride itself because I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but uh, there's an element at the beginning that reminded me very much of Earthquake, uh, riding through the tunnel, uh, getting to the uh, station in Earthquake. It's a fun ride. It's not, you know, it's not Spider-Man or it's not Forbidden Journey. It's not even Green Gods, but it's a fun ride. It's a, it's a, it's a people eater. It's a family eater. Uh, people are going to eat it up. Uh, I don't know, I had fun with it guys. Uh, it is what it is. I was totally expecting to hate this thing and I didn't hate it. Uh, I just thought it was fun. I had a fun, had a fun time. Uh, there's one major problem I have with it, but I can get over that because the ride for me was fun. So it doesn't, you know, affect my ride experience. And I don't think the general public is going to care about it anyway. Uh, but I had fun with it. Sorry. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had a good time with it. Uh, I was expecting to hit it, but I didn't hit it. I had fun with it. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'll talk to you later.